you're tuned in to Zorandon Cast. This is part seven of my Pandaren Monk playthrough. So let's get to it. Uh, last episode we left off, we were collecting soaked paintbrushes, uh, abandoned stoned blocks, and we were looking for some scrolls of wisdom that have been defaced so we can burn them. Uh, I have gone ahead and gotten all the stone blocks now. So let's go ahead and find one of those defaced scrolls. On the way though, we're gonna go ahead and take out some of these hosen so we can get more paintbrushes. I do have these orbs spawning. I've been seeing them around. I'm not completely sure what those are. Uh, just have to keep an eye out and see if they continue to show up and we can figure out what those are. However, in the meantime, uh, just as any area and any of the past quests I've already talked about, uh, things are being used up really quickly because it's, it's a little crowded right now. So you just kind of need to find one and camp on it. So you can get your uh, scrolls burned. So there seems to be one over here that not too many people are farming. And uh, in this case, you just kind of cut a quick, fast, so you can get them all. This actually could take a little bit of time, so if it does take too long, I will go ahead and fast forward through it. Yeah, I'm not getting any at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and collect these, and I will edit out the time spent trying to do it. Alright, I'm starting to get some of these scrolls now. I found one that I can uh, camp on. Uh, what I wanted to talk about, though, is each time you burn one of these scrolls, uh, some Hosen Wisdom actually comes up. And uh, the last one I got said, don't roll in own pool poo if not want to smell like poo all day. So, uh, here's another one. Don't throw banana peel, we're going to walk. So, at the very least, the Hosen are trying to be uh, smart <laughs> about their scroll writing. It just so happens that they are not smart. <laughs> um, so, let's continue on this burning and see what we can get next. And what I'm doing here is just rapid clicking. Uh, there we got the same actual message. Kind of boring to get a repeat, but uh, it's a rapid clicking. Uh, most of you have probably figured out how to do that. You just click where it's going to spawn as fast as you can. Um, I have gone ahead and grouped up with this pin down just so we can both complete the quest. It's a little frustrating how few scrolls there are here. And there I got level 8. Uh, again, nothing new at level 8. And there's another scroll we got burned. Uh, I think she actually got that one, since I didn't see any words of wisdom pop up. But that'll mean just one more to burn. And we'll get that done. Again, I've cut a few chunks of this video out, just because I was standing around waiting for edicts to appear. <laughs> uh, that message could be interpreted quite interestingly. Uh, <laughs> mouth hole, only that. Mouth hole, only hole, banana go in. Um, think what you will for that. Uh, Blizzard's always been known to ride on the line of being dirty. So, can't really complain about that. It is. Nice to see some funny stuff going down like that. Uh, so here we go ahead and turn in our paintbrushes. Go over to 
Jojo Ironbrow, and we'll see him break some stone blocks this time. Kind of fun to watch the progression of him as he gets harder and harder things and constantly says they're the hardest things possible and then he breaks them in half. Go back down to G Firepaw here. Go ahead and turn in that quest and we'll get a whole new batch of quests. Uh, we're gonna head up to a village where we need to kill a group of Hosen as well as a Hosen leader and recover some firework bundles. The Hosen have stolen a bunch of fireworks. And what we're gonna get, the, the mix of crazy monkeys and fireworks is just ludicrous, so. We'll enjoy that up here. Uh, there is also a quest right here on this Jade Tiger pillar. <coughs> so when you do get up here, Make sure and grab that. Again, you can see that there are just tons of people here, as well as tons of monkey balls. Hosen. Uh, this is probably the first place that you can actually really have a danger of dying in uh, without... You know, if you still keep your head cool, you should be fine, but you are going to run into some quite a few pose in here as well as if there's a lot of people here they're going to be respawning pretty quick as you can see it appears the pack I'm fighting is actually already respawned and they're not even dead yet uh, yeah I'm actually having an issue here so I gotta run as you can see there's tons of dead pandas around too so it's not exactly a safe area uh, it should be a little calmer when there's less people about. Eat that apple there. Um, there are vendors lying around. You want to make sure and try to hit them. I've actually not hit a single vendor this whole run through, so my packs, packs are getting pretty full. But we will continue on. I'm going to grab this firework here. I guess that lady got it first. Uh, what we can actually do is go down here where it's a little less crowded and get the uh, new guy. And again, uh, because it is a little packed, we've got quite a few people farming for the named guy. But, as with any named quest mob or elite, as long as you hit him, you'll have part of the tab. Now the good thing is there are plenty of fireworks here to grab, so we can save a little time by grabbing fireworks as we wait for the fellow to spawn. You'll notice uh, Panda here. He's, I believe, yeah, he's a warrior, so you can, he looks vastly different because pretty much everybody's playing Monk, uh, and that's what the male armor looks like. most of our fireworks before this guy even responds. There goes his corpse, so he should be up soon. And G Firepod does accompany you up here, so you can just turn your quest right into him and get those fireworks out of your pack so you don't have to worry about space. And there's Ruck Ruck. And we got him down, and we can turn that quest into G Firepod as well, and we get another weapon get an upgrade to the staff here and move on to back up there and we'll get a rest of our hosen kills in they do run in packs uh, if you have a buddy that can accompany you that can make this area easier but again with less people here, it should actually be a calmer area, uh, just more feasible to do. And this might actually be a little overpacked, Blizzard may thin it out here uh, before it goes live. We'll just have to wait and see on it. But yeah, you'll notice these guys are just constantly spawning, which, if you can control how much damage you're actually taking, it can be quite nice because you can get done pretty quick. But 
after a certain amount of time, the damage you're taking just adds up because you're not getting out of combat at all. So just keep an eye on your health, and as long as you do that, and run when you need to, you should be fine. And now that we're done, we're gonna get the heck out of here. And once you're in the clear, you can go ahead and talk to G Firepaw again and turn in that final quest. And then we uh, take the Jade Tiger Pillar back to the guy at the near the dock. So back to Jojo Ironbrow. And we will turn in the Jade Tiger Pillar. And part of the course, he's going to break it. As a good martial arts guy does, I guess, finds cool things and breaks them in half. But, unfortunately, he can't break that one in half. And now we need to go over to Cloud Singer. And you actually have to run on this rope here. Uh, it can be annoying if you fall off, but if you've got some decent. Uh, if you got half decent mouse control and keyboard control, you're not really going to have a problem here. Uh, if you get really brave, you can roll. Uh, but that can <laughs> throw you off pretty easily if you're just a little angled wrong. Uh, so we'll talk to Cloud Singer here going to the Chamber of Whispers. So, you can run along the rope to get off if you want, or you can simply s jump in the water and swim off. I think it's a little quicker to run if you've got the dexterity to keep on it at full speed, or do a roll like I just did. Um, so we'll head down there. It's another fairly long run, but not too bad, realistically. As long as I don't run into poles and stuff in my way. Now, when I do get to this uh, next area, I'm going to show you. It's probably the easiest place to die in the entire Wandering Isle. There's a little event that goes on that creates like a wall of wind. Like hurricane gale forces and basically kills you if you're in it. Uh, it's interesting to see something that's basically instant death to anyone at such a low level area. But I, I'm not one to complain, I think that's kind of cool the Blizzard's actually making people think at such a low level. Alright, so we're getting up here. And you'll know, just have to, yes, you can already see all the skeletons. And you see the wind in there. If you wait, Cloud Singer will actually come up and say, wait, don't go in. And you can see that wind right there, that's going to kill you if you're in it. So just wait for it to go away. As soon as it does, if you got roll, roll. If not, just run as fast as you can through there. <laughs> Enjoy all the corpses and cubes. And once you're up here, uh, you'll actually want to wait again. There is a gap where it happens again. So wait for that to go away again so you don't die. And once that dissipates, again, roll or run as fast as you can. Get to Dao Fang as quick as you can, and once you're up here, you are safe. So if you want to read the quest, go ahead and take the time to do so. And then you'll get the next quest from Cloud Singer. And we have to defeat a Cloud Serpent, because the Air Elemental is actually afraid of him and won't leave the temple unless we take him out for him. I just love all the corpses here. People can't seem to figure out what to do with that wind. Blizzard probably should label it a little better. I am going to call it here, and next time we will fight the Onyx Serpent. So, once again, I'm Zorondin. I hope you subscribe, and thanks for tuning in.